Hey YouTube, it's Robert Hall, and in today's video, we're gonna talk about the new Glow Wing-like umbrella. Before we jump in, my channel is sponsored by Adorama, which buys me the time to create videos without the influence of any specific camera brand. I personally shop at Adorama for their great deals on a wide variety of products as well as their support of those products down the road, so if you end up enjoying this video and you're interested in the equipment involved in this video, then please support Adorama by using the links in the description below. So if you don't know by now, I'm a huge fan of the Glow series of modifiers because they've got the quick beauty dishes, the quick deep parabolics, they've got a traditional beauty dish, they've got shoot through umbrellas, reflective umbrellas, regular quick soft boxes, rod style soft boxes, and all of them are cheaper than what you can find the equivalent sizes for anywhere else, so I think they present a great value to anyone looking to really control their off-camera flash. So they just released a new umbrella, a new modifier that I really haven't seen anywhere else. It's called the Wing Like, L-I-K-E, not Light. And it's a cross between a typical deep parabolic umbrella in that it has a very deep shape which allows for a more controlled light than a typical umbrella, but with the extra wings on the edges it takes on the shape more like a rectangular softbox. These come in three sizes, 45 inch, 60 inch, and 88 inch. Now it does use the same rod mechanism and the same closing mechanism as the other umbrellas in the Glow series, so you're not going to pinch your fingers opening or closing these because it's an external clasp that closes them. When you buy one of these umbrellas, it does come included with a thin nylon carrying case. Now this is a dual purpose umbrella in that it is a shoot through umbrella, so it's a transparent white umbrella, but it comes with a silver cover so that you can reflect light as well. The cover you just slide over top of the translucent umbrella and make sure to connect the little caps to the edge of the rods on the translucent umbrella. Which one thing about this modifier is as you take it in and out of a case, you will find that the cover will come off at certain points. So um, every time that you bring it out, you do wanna give it a quick check to make sure that it's completely covered if you're using the cover. So the rectangle shape of this is really familiar. It's very similar to a rectangle softbox. It's gonna be the same shape as a face or the same shape as a body, which makes it really nice for concentrating your light over that type of area. So it's gonna be nice for any type of portraiture. Here I'm using the Godox 8200 and round head along with the 60 inch version and I'm using it as a reflective umbrella with the cover as a key light. In terms of quality of light, I think this works really well for any type of like high key setup, right? Because umbrellas are going to spill a lot of light, even a deep parabolic umbrella, it's going to send a lot of light everywhere, whether you use it as a reflectant and even more so if you're using it as a translucent umbrella. It's just gonna spill a ton of light, but as a high key light, especially for portraiture, this works really well because it's such a wide area, especially that 88, it's such a wide area that you can easily light somebody from head to toe and get a great coverage of light on them and a really nice quality of light. And in this one, I'm using the 88 inch version on a Godox 8600 Pro, again, as a reflective umbrella. And I'm doing this for some glamor work in studio. And like I said, because it's spilling a lot, it works great for the high key look. But if you're looking for something with a little bit more concentrated, focused, controlled light, then you're gonna wanna stick with a soft box and even better, a deep parabolic soft box. That's gonna give you more control of your light versus using one of these umbrellas. This is more like a general purpose light modifier. In looking at the shape of this light, another purpose that I think it's really good for is wedding photographers, specifically for large group photos or just having a massive light modifier that you can rely on anywhere that also packs away really neatly because this, once it's collapsed, only takes up a little bit more space than a typical umbrella. You can put it in portrait orientation for a solo portrait of a person or even a full body shot. But the best use case for this, I think, is when you turn it sideways, turn it in landscape orientation and use it to illuminate a large group like you would do for family photos following a ceremony at a wedding. This is the 60 inch again being used for family portraits. This is the only light that I'm using in this situation. A nice general tip for when you're trying to put good light on a subject is to match the shape of your modifier as the shape of your subject. Another interesting thing that I've been playing around with, I've done this twice now and I really wanna put it in some more situations, is actually using this almost like two different light sources at the same time. So because of the shape of this light, it's really easy to work underneath, to put it in landscape orientation, put it a little bit raised on a stand, on an angle down towards the subject, and work directly underneath half of it. And if you do that and 
remove the cover on half of it so that you've got a reflective side on half of it and a translucent side on the other half. When you're using it as a reflective umbrella, you've essentially got a key light and a fill light that are operating at different light outputs. And in thinking about it now, I suppose you could also apply this to using it as a shoot through. If you wanted to flag off part of your shoot through, then you can use the cover to do so. Those are just some ideas that I had for using this modifier that you might want to try. So overall, you guys know I'm a softbox photographer first. I'll always prefer a softbox because it's going to give you really good control of your light. But these are a pretty versatile tool. And I typically suggest umbrellas first to people starting out in flash photography simply because they're less expensive and more general purpose and they work pretty well in a lot of situations. And then you can get into softboxes as you get more refined with your light quality. And I think these wing-like umbrellas from Glow are a great place to start. Please leave a like if you enjoyed this look at the Glow wing-like umbrella. Comment below with any questions, subscribe if you'd like to see more of my videos, and until next time, keep on shooting.